All right, East Texas Giving Day is one of the biggest chances for the community to step up together to raise money and awareness for our local nonprofit organizations. And we have many to choose from, and one of them is the Children's Park of Tyler. It helps comfort families mourning the loss of a child while they process through and find purpose in their grief. And Eloise Christ, the executive director of the Children's Park of Tyler, is joining us this morning Thank live. You. Thank you for waking up and being yes, with us. absolutely. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Well, first, we want you just to tell us a little bit more for those who don't know about the organization. Yeah, yeah. so a lot of people think that we are a park because of our name, but we are so much more than a park. Uh, for 20 years, we've been around in East Texas, and this September will actually be our 20th anniversary. Wow. And so there's a little red brick home on the property called Allison's House, and that's the heart of our mission. We do free peer-led support groups for anybody who's lost a child, um, and it's for different ages, because losing a 20-year-old is a different conversation than losing a 20-week pregnancy. And so we've got a couple different um, support groups depending on the age of the child when they passed, and we have wonderful facilitators who just have all experienced that loss and they just know, they understand where you're coming from. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing to build that community. And during that time that I can only imagine how <laughs> difficult that is, mm -hmm. how do people find you to get that support they need? Yeah, it's a, really through word of mouth. Um, and we've, we've really been trying to get the word out through, through social media, through appearances like this, or speaking to mom's groups because that's, I mean, they're the ones that are going to, unfortunately, ho hopefully they don't go through it, but they'll know somebody that will. Yeah, and, and you don't so, want to go through it alone. No, and that's, that is the main point. Like, no family should do this alone. They don't, they don't need, they, I think a lot of people realize they don't um, have the right to grieve. They, I don't know, we just don't gr do grief very well as a right. society. And so finding people that get exactly what you're experiencing and letting you know it's okay. We don't encourage people to sit there, but we want them to process those feelings so they can move forward and bless others in a healthy way. And it is a process. What do you think yeah. has contributed to the growth and the success of helping all these people? Um, I think just, again, word of mouth. I think people, when they come, they're so nervous and anxious, and they come in really heavy when they walk into that, that front door. But then they see just such love and compassion and comfort and then they want to bless others. And so it's just like paying it forward in a lot of ways. Um, and so, and we do a lot of remembrance events too. Yeah. And so sometimes people don't come to our support groups, but they come to those and we're just happy to, and we're so honored to host that for those people, to give them a safe space where they can just find like-minded people who understand exactly what they're going through. But you can't do it without the help of East uh, Texas, 100%. which leads us to East Texas yes. Giving Day. Yes. What all do you have in store um, in the coming weeks as we gear up yeah, for that? Yeah, so much. So the same week as East Texas Giving Day, we have our Remembrance Run 5K. And so that's for anybody to walk or run in memory of anybody they've lost. It doesn't have to be just a child. It's a beautiful, beautiful day to see the community come together. Um, yeah, it's just, I love it. It's one of my favorite events that we get to do. And it's our fourth year to do it. And so that's coming up on May the 4th. There's still time you can sign up and just go to our website. And there's these legacy signs that you see um, that are just beautiful, precious faces of people that being that are being memorized, like remembered um, and um, honored. And then we have a Mother's Day retreat the day before Mother's Day that's a small group of moms just to help them process. Because um, Mother's Day can be bittersweet when yeah. you've lost a child. And if you ha still have living children, you want to be so grateful for the children in your life that are still living, but you also can't help but wonder what life would have been like if that child, other child was still there. And, and right before yeah. we go, because we're, yeah. we're about yeah, to, yes. Yes. Um, where can they donate on East Texas Giving Day so they can help you? Yeah, so search for the Children's Park of Tyler, um, and you can see the QR code, and you can scan that. And and all of our information and photos and videos and all that of testimonies are, are on there. Oh, Eloise, we're yeah. so thankful for you being here Thank today. You so much. And telling us just a little bit more yeah. about what you do yeah. for the people who, in East Texas who are really going through it. Things yeah. that, you know, we can't wrap our head no. around in many no. cases. And we're, we're so honored to do that. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Will you guys stay with us? We'll be right back.